So here are some sentence frames to kind of get you started in this. So you could simply say the similarity or this difference showed how the civil rights movement, whatever, right? It would lead to this, this difference would lead to this difference represented. Um, you could even go things like, you know, if Du Bois would have been followed, it would lead to this. If Washington would have been followed, it would lead to this and show this different kind of world where each path would have led us to different histories, right? Um, and so uh, that's called counterfactual history, by the way, is when you said, you know, if this thing that didn't happen would have happened, how would history have been different, right? If the South would have won the Civil War, if Britain would have won the American Revolution, if Hitler and the Nazis would have won World War II, if, or my favorite is what if Germany would have won World War I, we would have had no Hitler, no Holocaust, um, right? Uh, possibly. Um, so you could do counterfactual kind of history, right? If we, we would have had Du Bois lead the civil rights movement and we would have followed his path, this would have happened. If Washington would have got his way, you know, how would that be different, right? And you could talk about both and then show why that is important. And probably the most basic of sentence frames here is this difference is important because um, that's the simplest form. I'd like to see you move beyond that. But if you're really struggling, that's really kind of where you start off. Okay. Now at this point, this is the end of my little videos. Um, but at this point now you have time to write your own paragraph. You have the documents, go through the documents again. I would reread them real quickly, go through, pick out your argument, pick out your evidence, describe that evidence, introduce your evidence, give that context, write your paragraph as best as you can. Get that to me before next class begins, finish it over the weekend but you really should have enough time in class today. If you do finish in class, go ahead and begin working on your OpenStax reading um, and make sure at this point, this will be 21.4. This will be the end of chapter 21 uh, and make sure that you have completed all four of these um, by the time you come back next week. I will be grading them over the weekend and you need those you need to get, remember, if you get those in, you get bonus points on your quizzes, just like the reading homework last time. So I'm going to be going through those and each one gets up to four points. And the way I'm going to do it is you have to average over three to get the bonus point, right? Which means um, you would have to get full credit on four or three of the four. Think of it that way. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Good luck, and I'll, I will be back next week, so I will see you next week.